That's really interesting because the reason I asked the um, the Muslim thing earlier was because we see shows like Rami and um, I'm forgetting the name of the one. It was the hijabi skateboarder. Hi. Hila? Hala. I forget. Hala. Hala. Yeah. Um, and it's heavily criticized by the community um, that I guess it's representing. I, I, I guess the debate of the creators is saying that it's a story. It's not a representing necessarily a group of people. But I say that to say other people outside of the community like it a lot. The community itself, for you know, a, a lot of people, it doesn't sit right. This show is different because you know, going through the comments, anybody can go through them right now. It's just like there's so much positive feedback, and every like brown people really feel like it's made for them. I don't know how non-brown people feel about it, but that was just kind of like an interesting thing to see for the first time. Same with Never Have I Ever. A lot of backlash on that. Yeah, you know that's really interesting point. I think um, I think part of it is when a show is about one lead. And uh, I think that's that's a similarity between the examples there is like you get to put a lot of exploration into that character and and thus like a lot more room to criticize. Uh, I think the other thing that is, um, you know, South Asians as people, we're 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 a we're challenging to make content for. And I think that's part of, it's you true. know, I will always do it and I, I, I always think it's worth it and I'll always put time into it. But it is not easy. And I think it's not easy because we are not always the best about supporting our own. Because I think there's an, a lot of times we expect one piece of representation to speak for all of us. And when you look at a thing like faith, you look at uh, Islam, like that's not a country, that's not a town, that's not a city, that's, that is truly universal. And there's no way Rami could ex- uh, have possibly you know, encapsulated the Muslim experience, Hala, you know, never have I ever the, the experience of being a young brown girl. Like it's just way, it's impossible. And I think the goal is to never do that. But when I think a lot of it is a byproduct of where we're at with representation, you know, like we don't, we, we don't get more, you know, it's, it's only recently that we get more than one show a year with a brown person. Mm-hmm. So when uh, Rami is the first of its kind, it faces the, I think the challenge of when you are the first of something and everyone, like everyone is so excited because yes, we all want this. And then we all want it to be the thing that does, that makes up for the years of us thinking about our plight and all Mm -hmm. that. And when it doesn't, it's challenging for us, you know? And, um, and I think that's, it's, it's, it's a question I talk a lot about and and ask a lot about with my friends of uh, creators who are Brown, like, how do we make stuff for our, our own people and deal with that backlash? So I think it's very simple to be like, this show is about a Muslim person or this show is about an Indian person. We immediately compare it to our lives. Oh, this character is not doing what I do. This isn't fair to our people. So I think mm-hmm. there's a lot of assumptions we make as audiences. Um, but at the same time, like, I think, um, I don't know. I just think the audience is the, should be trusted. That's the other part of it that makes it really kind of a double-edged sword is that I, I don't believe in creators being like, ah, forget the audience, you know, um, I, I'm just going to do this anyway. It's, it's a really tough balance on, on juggling both those things. 